What's going on guys, it's Jeromon and we are back with another top 5 best sneakers worn all across the NBA this past week. This is the series where we take all the best Nike IDs, custom colorways, and exclusive PEs. We rank those sneakers 1-5 through five, but we also shout out our retro of the week because who doesn't love a little old school love? But enough talk, let's get straight to the sneaks. Starting off the list at number 5 we got DeMar DeRozan with his very own PE of the Nike Zoom Kobe 1 Pro Troll. Now if you don't know what Pro Troll means, it stands for Performance Retro, and it's a line of retro sneakers that Nike and Kobe are bringing back with performance upgrades, but since the Mamba isn't playing himself, they decided to hook up one of his disciples, DeMar DeRozan, with his very own PE. As you can see, this colorway predominantly uses red with the patent leather upper, but you also have white hits on the Nike swoosh branding, as well as on DeMar DeRozan's number, which can be located on the lateral side of the heel. Despite being a player exclusive, Nike did decide to drop these to the public in limited quantities at only three house of hoops locations but i'm just hoping that once the playoffs come around nike gives us a black and red demar DeRozan pe because clearly i like black and red next up at number four we got lebron james with the air zoom generation colorway of the nike lebron 15. Now, I myself am not a huge LeBron James signature sneaker fan, but even I have to admit the LeBron 15 has been absolutely killing it this year. And one of my favorite LeBron James sneakers of all time is his very first sneaker, which came out way back in 2003. This colorway of the LeBron 15 is inspired by one of the very early colorways of the Air Zoom generation, which is LeBron's first signature model. You got the white, you got the black, you got the hits of red but the color blocking on this particular colorway is just absolutely stunning with the two-tone black and white upper. And I don't know about you guys, but this is one of my favorite LeBron 15 colorways that have come out all season long. But what do you guys think? Coming in at number four, we got Miles Turner with this custom colorway of the Nike PG1. And when it comes to talking about who is the league MVP this season, that's a little bit of a debate. Do you have James Harden? Do you have LeBron James? Or do you have someone else? But what is not a debate is who is the custom sneaker MVP this season because that is easily hands down Kick Shadamas himself who gave us this custom Stormtrooper colorway of the Nike PG-1 that not only uses an Imperial logo on the heel, but when you put the left and right sneakers side by side, the medial side of the toe box showcases the iconic Stormtrooper helmet. If you're sitting at home thinking, why did Miles Turner turn to the dark side? I got two words for you. Unlimited power! Next up at number two, we got Trevor Booker with this custom X-Men colorway of the Nike Hyperdunk 2017. I tried to tell you guys in the last spot, Kick Shadamas is the undisputed champ when it comes to custom sneakers. And here he is again supplying Trevor Booker with this amazing X-Men custom, which perfectly matches the Indiana Pacers color scheme. Not only do you have Wolverine on one of the sneakers, but the other side features Beast, who is a solid hero, but personally, I would have put Storm up there, but that's just me. All right, guys, so now it's that time where we shout out the retro of the week. And if you've been following this series for a while now, I think you know who to expect. This week's retro of the week goes to none other than PJ Tucker for rocking the Air Jordan 3 Marquette PEs. If Kick Shadamas is the undisputed champ when it comes to custom sneakers, PJ Tucker is easily the champ when it comes to retro sneakers. This guy brings out a new pair that we haven't seen before what seems like every day. And this time he decided to rock the Marquette PE of the iconic Air Jordan 3s which only went to people involved with Marquette basketball. So how PJ Tucker got his hands on these, I don't know, but that's just the kind of guy PJ is. The Rockets don't even have any blue or yellow in their color scheme, but PJ Tucker was like, that don't matter. I'm still rocking these. Finally, at number one, we got Montrez Harrell with this custom Simpsons colorway of the Air Jordan 29s. I thought I told you guys, Kick Shadamas is on a roll, and here he is again with the number one spot, supplying Montrez Harrell with this amazing Simpsons custom on the Air Jordan 29, which is personally my favorite basketball sneaker of all time. That's right, of all time. Not only does this custom feature the Duff Man on the right sneaker, but it also has a two-tone colorway with the left side featuring a blue upper, as well as everybody's most lovable dummy, Homer Simpson. And just take a look at that artwork. It's crisp, it's clean, and it's one of the best pieces of art Kick Shadamas has put out all season long. And that's why I have it in the number one spot in this week's top five. But that's just my opinion. What about you? 
which of these six sneakers was your favorite let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave me a like that helps me out a lot and be sure to stick around and subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this my name is Jaren. it's we can have you i'll catch you in the next one peace the Kobe AD NXT 360, which is the newest model in the Kobe Bryant signature line, will drop on April 13th for a retail price of $200. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. That price is absolutely absurd, but I'm here to ask the question and even try to answer, are the Kobe AD NXTs worth all that cash?